Hey, good afternoon. This is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. I got asked this question a lot. How to edit custom content type using JetForm Builder? And I was looking for answer myself. So I went into Facebook uh, Croc community page and then typed uh, edit CCT. And then um, fair enough, uh, there are lots of people asking the same question uh, right here and right here as well. But um, I haven't been able to um, find the right answer actually. So I tried it myself and found the answer for you. So, and I'd like to share with you guys. I created a tutorial uh, for how to edit custom content type using JetForm Builder. Uh, now, first one is uh, I'd like to show you how to create a CCT. And the second one is creating a form for adding a new CCT content with JetForm Builder. And the third item is uh, creating a template for adding CCT content via the account page with a profile builder module. And then next one is creating a form for editing the existing CCT content with JetForm Builder. And then creating a listing item template for the CCT with JetNG. And then creating the CCC listing on the account page. Now, if you are familiar with how to create a CCT and how to add, CCT via front end form, uh, just go ahead and skip it and then probably start with this uh, creating a form for editing the existing CCT content with Jet Form Builder. So I have a chapter created uh, on the bottom, so you should be able to easily uh, skip to uh, this middle content. So let's begin. So I have custom content type here, so it's called a publication so that the user or login users can uh, put their publication information here. And uh, just going through down here, and I just, this is really simple, um, just publication title, and then date, and uh, right here I'm gonna use date, and the save as timestamp, and then description. So that's only, um, only three field. And then creating uh, the front end form is really easy. So right here, you can just uh, hit the create a new form. And I'm gonna just go ahead and click here. And then just to create the new form right here. And then you can see, go to jet form. And then right here, you see uh, insert and update custom content type item. Okay, so I'm gonna just go hit update. And the next one is, I'm gonna just go to Elementor template, go to save template. And I have to add a new template for uh, adding a new publication. So I'm going to just uh, add a new, uh, select page. And then create a template. And I have a master template here, uh, my template. And then master profile will template. templates. So I'm going to just uh, insert. So this already has um, um, items on the left side and then form on the right hand side. Just delete this and then yeah so jet form use drag and drop and then let's find add a new publication items right here. Let's go ahead and hit publish and let's go back to the dashboard here. And I go to uh, Profile Builder. And I need to add account new sub page. I like to make it short. And then template's gonna be uh, this one. And a save. Okay, so let's uh, open up with a private win uh, private window, and then uh, just uh, yeah, use uh, login here. Okay, so I got uh, add a new publication. So let's check it out. Okay, um, yeah, on the left hand side is not really the same, but that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna just test this out. Let's hit submit. 
Okay, so it looks like uh, it's submitted. So, so let's go to um, the admin site and then let's check out uh, publication right here. Okay, so annual report. So let's look at the inside. So title, date, and then description. So, and it, it is published. So that's, so that's working. Okay, great. So next one is, so let's create editing form so that the user can edit to update um, the existing publication. So go to JetForm Builder. And then here, I already created add a new publication item, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just duplicate. And then I'm gonna edit that. And of course, I'm gonna change title to edit publication item. Uh, okay, probably we need to add a hidden field. Uh, just one sec here. So let's quickly uh, go back to uh, add a new publication item form. And then uh, let's try adding a hidden field. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just doing CCT. And then right here, so just use try a CC, oh, sorry, try current post ID. And let's hit uh, update. And then let's test it out. So go to uh, refresh this and add a new publication. Just change that. And then select. Okay, hit submit. Okay, so let's go to the front end and then back to the dashboard and let's change a publication. So it's uh, item number two. So I'm gonna just check quickly here. So I got the, this handy plugin, it's called a SQL Buddy. Uh, this tells me, so let's the CCT publication. And then that's the ID number. And then back to edit publication item. So I'm gonna add a hidden field. So the uh, hidden, you might think I use cct underscore post. Okay, and then here, so I'm gonna choose URL query variable. And then right here, so I'm gonna just uh, differentiate this. So I'm gonna put underscore before and the cct post. So just make sure I wanna differentiate uh, between those two. And then hit update. Uh, go to jet forms and then here, uh, post submit action. So right here, so I'm gonna just uh, go ahead and publish here. So I'm gonna change to item ID uh, right here. We'll update the item, I think this is it. And then the rest should be okay. And I'm gonna hit update. And one more thing. So I'm gonna enable this preset settings. And then so should be custom content type, and then get ID from uh, URL query variable, and then uh, query variable name is underscore cct underscore post, right? So cct uh, underscore post should be item ID, and title should be title, Published day should be published day description. It's going to be description. All right, so I'm gonna just hit update that. And then back to the dashboard. And I'm gonna create the listings for the publication. And add a new, so it's gonna be customer content type, uh, publication. Okay. okay, I'm gonna use Elementor. Okay, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time I'm gonna just create a listing. So I'm gonna just uh, pause this video. All right, so this is pretty simple. I use dyna dynamic field to um, add this, uh, just, you know, post term user object data. And then here I just pick uh, a CTP uh, title and here, same thing, dynamic field. Uh, right here, I added the publication date Right, so it's pretty simple. And here I'm adding um, 
dynamic link. Uh, I should change that to uh, edit publication. Okay, so I'm gonna just uh, leave it uh, permalink here. So we're gonna change that. I'll get back to you in a minute. So let's just uh, pause the video. All right, so, uh, so I'm gonna create a new template again. So under element or template, and then I'm gonna add new and then select page, let's see, edit publication and create. So I'm gonna just move this and then put on a side by side. Oops, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just copy this, uh, copy and uh, uh, paste. Okay, so basically I'm gonna change this to edit publication item right here. Okay, so pretty identical. And then go ahead and publish. All right, so I'm going to, going back to dashboard. And then let's stretch this out. And then go to profile builder. And then I am going to add another sub page. Let's say edit, edit publication and template's gonna be edit publication, right? And I'm gonna hide, hide from menu and hit save. Okay, I can just close this and let's go back to let's go back to listing. And remember that this publication, I think I have to refresh this page first, uh, hit update and then refresh this page. And then, so this dynamic link, so I'm gonna choose profile page and then it's going to be edit publication, right? And the one thing you have to make sure this add a query argument. So I'll turn this on and then here, so post ID. So I have to change that. I think I used uh, underscore CCT underscore post. I didn't have ID here. Uh, let's double check. So edit form with this one. Uh, Sorry, this is add, sorry, um, edit form is this one. And I have underscore CCT underscore post. I have to match this up. All right, so that's good and hit update. Okay, so next one is I have to create a template for the account page that uh, all the publication is listed on the account page. So go to Elementor template and then I'm gonna add a new, it's going to be page, uh, say my, my publications. And let's go to my template. And I got a master profile, build a template. And here, so I'm gonna just delete this and then let's go to listing grid, drag and drop. And I think I have made a publication listing or something. Okay, I'm gonna make it just uh, two columns. All right, so it's not really pretty, um, but this will do the job. And I'm gonna just hit publish. and back dashboard and then Jetta engine and go to profile builder and account page. And I'm gonna add a new sub page. And then my... Okay, so that's a race on template. It's gonna be my, my publications, okay. And then hit save. Okay, so let's go to open up with uh, the private window. So I logged in as a user. And then right here, so I got my publications. 
so I added two so two publications here and uh, so let's go to um, back end quickly okay so I got those two and then back here so I'm gonna let's say uh, annual report 2021 hit the edit and then so I'm gonna change that to so let's say revised and then let's change date to uh, from September 7th to September 3rd and I'm gonna just put the right here revised and hit submit okay so let's back to back end and I'm gonna just hit refresh all right so look at that so it looks like changed here and the September 3rd and then let's see the inside here so you see revised here all right, so that's it for today, and I hope this helps, and I'll see you next time.